Hey guys, this is Thomas from Stylized Station, and today I've got a super awesome new paint wear filter. It's fully customizable, and you can brush with it, you can paint on it, and it's for free on my Patreon. And this is a tutorial showing you guys exactly how to use it. So the very first step is to hop onto my Patreon and grab one of the free things that I've left up there for you at patreon.com slash stylidestation. Okay, plugs over. The, ne the next thing you want to do is extract that file and take out the substance archive file, and we're going to drag it into here. Um, we can now name it, let's see, it's a filter, so let's name it filter and import it wherever you want. I already have it imported, so I'm not going to do anything. Well, I'll do it just, just, just so we're on the same page. And then in the filter, it's going to add it to um, add it to the filter shelf, which is great. The next thing we're going to do is just to add the icon to it. Quick little step, set custom preview. And where do I have this? Um, I've got it sitting on my desktop here. It is ypaintpeel.icon. Great. It's done. So now you can actually see it's set on there and ready to be dragged and dropped into the next material. Okay, so we're in our trusty substance painter. I've decided to go with the default sphere. There's one thing we have to do before we get into this, and that is add a new channel, which is the age channel. I'm just going to show you how to do it again. Add a channel, user zero and AGE. Done. Easy. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the smart material uh, or we're, rather we're going to add the top layer and the bottom layer using materials and smart materials. So the first layer that's going to be on the bottom of the stack is basically whatever you want to be to be the base material. So I'm going to go ahead and use brass old. Easy. Next thing on top, let's use something very paint like. So let's see what paint we have. Steel painted. You're the chosen one. Going in. Great. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply the filter. So right click and let's, before we do that, add a fill. Now we're going to select only the age channel and bring that age all the way to zero and you'll see why in a bit. The next thing we're going to do is right click, add a filter. Now we're going to take the filter, which is here, and throw it in here and only select the age. The next thing we have to choose is the method of applying this filter. So let's right click on this and I'm going to go with the paint layer, move it into the middle and let's go ahead and mm, use this brush. I've just got this brush selected and we're just going to brush it along the surface. What did I miss? Let's see, maybe this is going to be all, yeah, okay. So let's do that again. Let's unselect these. Let's add that paint layer in the middle. And the only thing is paint peel is going to have full. Great. Okay. So just to recap, um, the actual filter itself is using every channel. Paint is only using age and the fill layer only using age with the age pulled all the way to zero. Now for the paint layer, now we can actually paint on. So go ahead and select whatever brush you want. Whatever brush you want. I'm using some sort of bristle, um, bristle bristle brush so the brush is going to affect it so let's go ahead and paint it on and as you can see it's really starting to pull away this paint and it just looks so good I'm super happy with how this turns out absolutely love it now we can use other brushes and it will give a different effect so I don't know fiber moss why not let's experiment with it as you can see it starts to pull away in a different way elephant skin sure bring the light over This might take some time, but ooh, it looks really good and it's doing really doing its job. Super cool. I love this filter. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just create a mask with it as well. So we're gonna right click, add generator, put the generator in the middle. Everything is selected from what I remember. Oh no, only age is selected. Right. And then we're gonna go to a mask editor. And right away, you'll see that we've got the edge where it's actually going to the curvature. It looks great. And this is kind of how I intended for this to be used. Um, let's go ahead and 
mess with some of the settings. You can blur it, but it, I would leave blur alone. Typically, the balance will start to pull away at the edges. So let's set the balance to about here. The only other things I would really mess with are the world space normal and the positions as you can start to get it to move away. So if you really want to add some top wear, which is very common, you can just bring up the world space normal opacity and you can see that it's from here, it's pulling it away from the top. Now with the position, you can sort of tweak it even further and you can see it starts to move down, pull the world, world space back. And I've got a nice little spread of, of worn paint. One more thing I wanted to show you is the actual settings of the paint peel filter, which are great, very helpful. So the curvature just kind of tightens up the corners. You can see if you look in here, I'll pull this up and it just really exaggerates the edges and the folds, which actually looks good. The height, as you can see, is gonna increase all the heights of the material frequency, the amount of paint chips that are formed I like to keep this a little lower because it adds, looks so good that way. Discord power is going to make the chipping more dramatic and kind of spread out a little more. And the frequency, again, it's going to almost subdivide all the chips. And this looks really good too. This is another really great setting to use. Um, this looks really, really good. I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please check out more videos like this at stylizedstation.com or if you're looking to contribute and support the community itself so I can keep making these videos, check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash stylizedstation. I'll see you guys in the next video.